things and happenings around enables you to take decisive decision using the right information. We want you to be informed, enlightened, and be healthy. That's why we brought to you the program, Be Aware. My name is Grace Komalafe, and today we shall be discussing vital information that will help you in the journey of life. But before we do so, let's go on a short break. Be aware in this program, we want you to be informed, enlightened, and be healthy. So, we'll talk about life, we'll talk about health, and of course, the latest cheese in town. So, let's take it straight from life itself. Talking about life itself, let's look at habits. Habits when it comes to your actions to life, when it comes to your consumption, and of course, comparison. So, we'll start from action. Your actions determine who you turn out to become, I mean your daily actions. Your actions makes you or breaks you. It's just like, your actions are just like bricks, you know. Now you end up building up a good house for yourself or a bad one. Mm, and that would be so sad. <laughs> so, what are your actions to life? What is your attitude towards life? Those things you just take decisions and you feel, I just don't care. I mean, these things are important because you end up becoming that person which you created yourself. When I think you created, those actions you are putting together are actually carving something out for you. And that is the result you get at the end of it. So you need to sit down and check. Check your actions towards life. So when I say habits for consumption, what are those things that you take in? When I mean consumption, I mean both you, things you read, things you eat, and the sort of discussions you have. Are there such that makes you go mentally unstable? Are they those that gives you irritations that affect your health and person? I mean, you really need to check them. You need to check the kind of books you read. Oh, it's internet age and we are happy. <laughs> we are actually excited about it. But what are those information that you read? How do they impact you? Are they negative impactations or positive? You really do need to check it. It's important. So, when it comes to food, the fruits you eat, the veggies, the rice, the bean, everything. You really need to know what is good for you so you can stay healthy and fit. Then when it comes to comparison, oh my goodness, are you doing a healthy comparison or you just don't care? Oh, he bought a big house. How did he get it? How did he go about it? In fact, I'm actually having a terrible challenge at the moment. I just can't handle it. And you just like, you want to be like him. You don't know how we started anyways. I want to tell you that it's important to put on hard work. Hard works actually pay. Hard work pays. And that is what they say. They didn't just say it. It's because it works. And I must say that you just don't have to work, work, work. You must as well work smart. So hard work, the smartness makes you, I mean, you end up achieving that goal that you want. So that is about life itself. Let's talk about health. So let's look at high blood pressure, or I say blood pressure. Blood pressure is actually symptomless. Yes, it doesn't give any sign, but somehow it ends up giving a whole lot of health issues, like stroke, could lead to heart attack, it could lead to so many dangerous um, situations. So you need to check your blood pressure at all times. So if you're an adult and you find yourself between the range of um, 90 60 GH, um, to 120, 80 mmGH, then you are fine. But if you are outside this, please, you need a medical advice, and it's important. Don't wait. So as I talk to you now, after this program, just go take your uh, machine and check your BP right away. If you don't have it at home, please go to the nearest pharmacy or hospital and do so because your health is so important to us. That is it on health and life on this program, be aware. We are still here, we want to go on a short break. When we come back, we'll take you down the latest cheese in town. I remain Grace from our head. Welcome back. Yeah, are you a seven core member? Or do you have a child, presently seven? Or he or she is still expecting? Do you have a friend, a sibling, colleagues? About to go to service for their currently seven. Good news! You can now go to work! Yippee, yippee. <laughs> That's actually 
too funny, you know. Well, I'm glad I'm out of that phase now, so I won't be thinking, oh, are they going to mobilize me tomorrow to go fight Boko Haram? <laughs> That's funny. But you know what? Um, on Wednesday, there was a program, a TV channel, and um, the DG of NYSC actually said that the core members could be trained to go for war. <laughs> Are you ready for that? Are you sure you can? You know, he went further to say that those three weeks they stay in camp, you know, they turn out to become very strong and amazing, you know, uh, core members. That you see the female core members now blowing the army horn and beating their drums. So because of that, they could be mobilized to go to war. <laughs> that's actually funny, I must say. But that's the information for you today. It's the latest gist, and I want you to be aware. So uh, perhaps you are part of those that want NYC to be scrapped or you want it to still be there, and even if it still be there, you would like to go to war, just sit and think about it. Yes, my next gist for you, it's about the all happening IPOB and the almighty WK of River State. <laughs> so, it's been an issue of threat here and there, but I'm gonna read for you, I didn't say it anyway, I didn't say it, but I'm gonna read it for you. So the Biafra Nation League, BNL, has faulted Governor Yeson Wike of River State for threatening the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB. BNL said, Wike was a shameless talkative who would run into the bush when situation gets out of hand in the state. I didn't say it. I am actually ready for an online platform. So, this platform reported that governor had, the governor had said IPOB members allegedly threatened the peace of the state would soon meet their funeral. You can see I'm actually reading from the, uh, my phone. Here, yeah, yes, you know. So I didn't say this, but I wasn't there. <laughs> so, and here he said, uh, Wiki had issued the threat on Tuesday during the commissioning of construction work at the Ahoada campus of River State. The rest of the information I leave it to you where in the internet world you could go online to search for it and get the full cheese. I think I've tried. <laughs> okay, so that's all for you today on the program. Be aware, of course, I would have loved to stay back to give you a couple of doses, but I got to go. Until next time, I will be coming on the show again. You need to be aware, you just have to. It's very important so you will know what to do part time. It helps you to move in good pace. Right, my name remains Grace Komolafek and it's your program, Be Aware. Until next time, have an amazing day out there.